If the command prompt on your window system is opening and closing immediately, it could be due to various reasons. Here are some steps you can take to troubleshoot and resolve the issue. Run command prompt as administrator. Right-click on the Start button and search Command Prompt and run as Admin or Windows PowerShell Admin. If the issue persists, proceed to the next steps. Checking and enabling Microsoft Defender. Open Windows Security. Click on the Start button in the bottom left corner of your screen. Type Windows Security in the search bar and press Enter. Navigate to Virus and Threat Protection. In the Windows Security Dashboard, click on the Virus and Threat Protection tab in the left sidebar. Check Protection Status. Under the Virus and Threat Protection section, you should see the status of your protection. Enable if necessary. If it indicates that Microsoft Defender is turned off or if there's an option to turn it on, click on the Manage Settings link. Toggle the switch to enable real-time protection. Updating Microsoft Defend. Return to Windows Security Dashboard. After ensuring that Microsoft Defender is enabled, go back to the main Windows Security Dashboard. Check for updates. Click on the Virus and Threat Protection tab again. Under the Virus and Threat Protection Updates section, click on Check for Updates. Allow updates to install. If there are any updates available, they will be downloaded and installed automatically. Ensure that your computer is connected to the internet. Verify update status. After the update process is complete, check the last updated information to confirm that your virus and threat protection definitions are up to date. Check for malware. Run a manual scan with Microsoft Defender. On the virus and threat protection. Click on scan options. Then click on quick scan or full scan to initiate a scan. Check for system file corruption. Open Windows PowerShell as an administrator. In my case I used command prompt mistakenly. Run the following command to check and repair system file corruption. SFC slash scan now. Allow the scan to complete. If any issues are found, the tool will attempt to fix them. Run DISM, Deployment Image Service and Management Tool. Run the following commands one by one. DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash check health. DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash scan health. DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. Allow the process to complete. This tool helps repair the Windows image. Check for recent software changes. To check for recent software changes and troubleshoot if the issue started after installing new software, you can follow these steps. Open Control Panel. Click on the Start button in the bottom left corner of your screen. Type Control Panel and press Enter. View Installed Programs. 
In the control panel, navigate to Programs and then click on Programs and Features. You sort programs by installation date. Look for an option that allows you to sort the list of installed programs by installation date. Identify any software that was recently installed around the time when the issue with command prompt started. Uninstall suspicious software. Right-click on the recently installed software and select Uninstall from the context menu. Follow the on-screen instructions to uninstall the software. Restart your computer. After uninstalling the software, restart your computer to apply the changes. Check command prompt again. Open command prompt and see if the issue persists. If the problem is resolved, it is likely that the recently uninstalled software was causing the conflict. If the issue persists, proceed to the next steps. Check for third-party shell extensions. To check for third-party shell extensions and potentially resolve conflicts using Shell XView, follow these steps. 1. Download Shell XView. Visit the Nearsoft Shell XView website. Type Nearsoft Shell XView in your web browser. The download link is below. Scroll to the end of the page. Download the Shell XView utility. It's a standalone application and doesn't require installation. Locate the destination of the downloaded file. Extract and run Shell XView. Extract the downloaded zip file to a folder of your choice. Open the folder and run the shexview.exe executable. Disable non-Microsoft Shell extensions. Wait for Shell XView to populate the list of Shell extensions. This may take a moment. Click on the Type column to sort the list by type. Look for extensions that are not from Microsoft Corporation. These are third-party Shell extensions. Select and disable extensions. Select a non-Microsoft Shell extension in the list. Right-click and choose Disable Selected Items or press F7. Repeat this process for each non-Microsoft extension. Restart your computer. After disabling the selected shell extensions, restart your computer to apply the changes. Check command prompt again. Open command prompt and see if the issue persists. If the problem is resolved, it indicates that one of the third-party shell extensions was causing the conflict. If the issue persists, proceed to the next steps. Review Event Viewer. Open the Event Viewer, you can search for it in the Start menu.
navigate to Windows Logs and check both the application and system logs for any error messages related to command prompt crashes. This might provide additional information. Perform a clean boot. Performing a clean boot in Windows allows you to start your computer with a minimal set of drivers and startup programs, helping you identify if third-party services or applications are causing the issue. Open System Configuration. Press Win Plus R to open the Run dialog. Titans Config and press Enter. Access System Configuration Utility. In the System Configuration window, go to the Services tab. Hide Microsoft Services. Check the box that says, Hide All Microsoft Services. This ensures that you won't disable essential Microsoft Services. Disable All Services. Click on the, Disable All, button. This will disable all non-Microsoft Services. Navigate to the Startup tab. Go to the, Startup, tab in the System Configuration window. Open Task Manager. Click on the, Open Task Manager, link. Disable Startup Items. In the Task Manager's Startup tab, disable all the startup items by selecting them and clicking Disable. Apply changes and restart. Close the task manager and return to the system configuration window. Click on OK. Restart your computer. Check command prompt again. After your computer restarts, open command prompt and check if the issue persists. If the problem is resolved, it suggests that a third-party service or startup item was causing the conflict.